Guinea's new Prime Minister, Amadou Uriba, has admitted that the military will remain in power until at least 2025, breaking their promise to leave by the end of 2024. Amadou Ba, who was appointed by the military at the end of February 2024, made the statement in an interview with RFE broadcast on Tuesday, March 12, highlighting the country's economic and financial fragility and the need for political stabilization. The Prime Minister cited a number of challenges faced by Guinea, including an explosion at the foil depot, social demand, inflation, and hardships faced by the population. The country has experienced fuel shortages, power cuts, and general strike in February, demanding low prices, media freedom, and the release of repressed unionists. The crisis has been accompanied by crackdown on dissent, bans on protests, media censorship, and the arrest or exile of opposition leaders. The military ousted civilian, President Alpha Kondi, in September 2021, and under pressure of the economic community of West African states, plus to return power to elected civilians by the end of 2024, after the transitional period. Amadou Ba echoed the military's argument that it needed time to reform the state and address chronic instability. He acknowledged delays in implementing the electoral calendar and stressed the need for the constitutional referendum by the end of the year, promising to complete the process by 2025. Despite criticism, he claimed that the military leadership was committed to return Guinea to normalcy. Guinea is one of the worst African countries where the military has taken part since 2020 with Mali, Burkina Faso and Niger, facing challenges in fulfilling promises of civilian-led transitions.